You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP DNS. In this section, I'm going to discuss and implement F5 DNS Express, which is a higher speed secondary authoritative DNS server for answering DNS queries for a specific zone. It is less vulnerable to attacks because it does not run a full bind DNS service. In the course F5 Big IP LTM and in the lesson F5 Big IP Initial Setup and Trial License Activation, I've explained the basic setups to prepare, license, and configure F5 Virtual Device. You can access this lesson for free, and I suggest you that you review it and set up a virtual F5 device in a lab environment before continuing with this lesson. This is the topology of F5 Big IP DNS connectivities. F5 has three interfaces, management with the IP address 1.181, which we are connecting to, external interface with the IP address 2.181, and internal interface with the IP address 10.1. To use F5 DNS features, we also need to activate global traffic or DNS license in the resource provisioning section in the system and then resource provisioning. And make sure that global traffic DNS license is activated. Another requirement for implementing DNS Express is the availability of a primary authoritative DNS server for a zone which F5 takes on the role of the secondary DNS server. In this section, we will use Microsoft DNS server as the primary authoritative DNS server, but in the next sections, we will also learn how to use local F5 bind server as the primary authoritative DNS server. Microsoft DNS servers installed automatically for the domain royalcode-code.com when I install the domain controller on the Windows server, just as a test, I added to a record has A and has 2 with the IP address 271 and 272. To use F5 as a secondary DNS server, we need to transfer the zone from Microsoft DNS server to the F5 device. This is possible if we allow zone transfer in Microsoft DNS server under the zone name and then property and then zone transfer we can allow zone transfer generally or to a specific IP address in my lab environment the IP address of the Microsoft DNS server is 2234 and is located in the external interface of F5 device therefore I add external F5 interface IP address 2181 to be allowed for zone transfers or any other servers regarding your lab environment. We also need to enable a notification to be sent to the secondary F5 DNS server whenever Microsoft primary DNS server changes. Here notify we add the IP address of F5 external interface so that any change to the primary DNS server are notified to the secondary F5 DNS server IP address or FQDN 181 and then OK apply and OK now we can start with DNS Express configuration F5 device in my lab environment I change port lockdown of the external interface to allow default to enable zone transfer and receiving name server change notification in the external interface selecting allow default will allow traffic with destination port 53 for both TCP and UDP protocol on the external interface which makes zoom transfer possible. In the next step, we need to add Microsoft name server to the F5 DNS name server list in the section DNS and then delivery and then 
name server list section we create a new name server macrosoft underline name server with the IP address 2234 and port 53 and finish Microsoft DNS server is the primary authoritative DNS server for the zone rayokodashko.com now we add F5 DNS as a secondary authoritative DNS server for the same domain in F5 device in section DNS and then zone and then zone list here we create a new zone for the domain raika-go.com and we add Microsoft DNS server that we have already configured as the primary DNS server we choose then consume as the notify action to receive and use notifications of primary DNS server change we add the primary DNS server address to 234 as a server that allowed to send notification to F5 DNS we also uncheck verify notify TSIG so that receiving sign notification and zone transfer is not a requirement in the upcoming sections we will discuss how we can enable TSIG key for secure zone transfer between primary DNS server and F5 DNS Express feature when configuring DNS Express zone F5 DNS is expected to send a zone transfer request and Microsoft DNS server send the zone information to the F5 DNS device to ensure that zone information is transferred from Microsoft DNS server to the F5 device we can use Linux shell command of the F5 device prompt and use the command DNS X dump to see exactly which information is transferred from the Microsoft DNS server to the F5 device as we can see two records 271 and 272 and all other records are transferred from Microsoft DNS server to the F5 device to force zone transfer it is enough that we disable and re-enable DNS Express zone here disable update and again enable update in the F5 DNS device so that F5 DNS send a new zone transfer request and Microsoft DNS server send zone information again to the F5 device another way to monitor and troubleshoot zone transfer is to monitor the output of the LTM log file slash var slash log LTM we do this by using tail dash f slash var slash log and slash ltm to display ltm real time log information the line transfer of zone raika dash code dot com with a serial number shows that the zone transfer happened between microsoft dns server and f5 dns express feature TCP dump utility is another method to ensure that zone information is transferred to the F5 DNS Express zone. I will use the command TCP dump in the external interface and any traffic between Microsoft DNS server on the port 53 to be captured. And then when you disable and enable DNS Express zone, disable. Up to now there is no information and again enable a new zone transfer occurs between primary Microsoft DNS server and F5 secondary DNS server as you can see here you see that for example 271 272 
to 234 these are the information the zone right that dash code.com which is transferred again between microsoft dns server and f5 dns device and also the command show ltm dns zone and the name of the zone for example raika-code.com is another method to see if zone information is transferred between primary and secondary dns server in tmsh and again the same command and you see the number of records a records for a record ns record and a start of authority record transferred from microsoft dns server to f5 dns device and its availability also shows that it is available and enabled and successful zone transfer the other method is to add a listener here in DNS delivery listener in F5 DNS device to answer the request from the specified zone raikodashko.com. Then we make requests and send them to the DNS Express zone. We expect that we get the correct answer. But creating listener in F5 DNS will be discussed in the next section. When the primary DNS server changes, we have configured it to send a DNS notification to the secondary DNS server. To make sure that it works, we make a change to the primary Microsoft DNS server and at the same time we perform a TCP dump command to ensure that notification is sent to the secondary DNS express. With the command, quit and here TCP dump and we change a record in primary dns server for example we add a new record host 3 with the ip address 273 and add host and here you see that from ip address 234 to f5 dns with the ip address 2181 with the port 53 a notification is sent then f5 dns is expected to have sent a zone transfer request upon receiving a dns change notification but in my lab environment f5 dns does not send a zone transfer request to the microsoft dns server and i have to manually disable and re-enable dns express zone to force a zone request to be sent. I could not find a solution to this problem. If you see inside the database of the DNS, you see there is no record related to host 3. That means also the notification is sent to the F5 DNS device, but F5 DNS has not sent a zone transfer request upon receiving a notification. And I have to hear disable and enable manually to receive the new record it is expected to work properly but it does not work for me i'm not sure what is the problem for my configuration and now if i check again you see uh, after a few minutes if you check again you will see a new record is added to the f5 dns device and now host3 raika-code.com is added to the f5 device in this section we learned how to implement f5 dns as a secondary authoritative dns server using dns express in the next sections we will learn how to create a dns listener to query a second f5 dns server then we will learn how to use local f5 bind service as the primary authoritative dns server and how to use psig key for sign zone transfer between primary and secondary dns server